Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Clarence Park in what promises to be a really, really tight game. Saints in the first um, first five minutes, isn't it, Carl? Mainly so far, yes, but you can see immediately. I mean, last time I was here against Taunton Town, St Albans had an immense intensity to get the ball back, to show that graft, but suddenly it's near the box. Hang on a second. Oh, yeah. just skips across. I was just saying, though, what yeah. Welling can't afford to do is let St Albans have those opportunities. John Meeks was speaking the other night. He wants to see, he likes this style of football, very similar to David Noble, but they want to see the ball move just a little bit quicker. So how quickly they move the ball is going to be key. And here comes uh, Jack James into the area. It just gets it to Dan Barry. Barry pulls it back to Hoddle. Hoddle tries to get the first opportunity in and um, Welling are just clearing away there. What, what, what was going on there, Carl? You know, Carl, as if they, uh, Welling have come with an intent here and they really have got Sonny Fish and Rhys Grant playing as a two up front, which means that there will be a bit more space for St Albans to exploit. Exactly, could be double trouble, although I say that, it's Hutchinson on the ball again, driving down the left-hand side, could go for the cross, cuts across, the shot goes just out. Yeah. And it was dipping and it was dangerous, but it just flew past the right-hand side post. Again, another sprout of positivity, though. They're fighting for their lives, though, Carl. Exactly. I mean, we said Ron Stringer comes in with guts and determination, and you can see that in the way he's talking to his players as well. But and here Hutchinson. comes Hutchinson down this left-hand side. He's getting away here. Gets the ball onto his right side. It goes right the way across. Rasulo oh. just getting underneath it there. And that was an opportunity for the Saints. Getting back, doing the job. And as they have the ball now, as you can see, although Sonny Fish and on the ball now. And now they attack Sonny Fish now coming down the right hand side goes past Partington goes past Brown he's into that near post shoots goes right the way across the goal um, absolutely Jason Adigun there livid saying why didn't you put it square I could have tapped it in now the Saints now let their pass in and there's little triangles um, just materialise but they give the ball away to Cameron Green Green gets it onto his left foot pulls back the trigger shoots just goes over the top unlucky there from Welling it must be said going to try and whip in a dangerous delivery into the box is the grass greener with Cameron Green on Welling United? Well, that's what they are about to find out. And that's what we're about to find out as he launches one in with his left foot. And oh no! Oh, devastating! And it looked like an own goal. The delivery from Cameron Green, extremely dangerous. And unfortunately, St Albans on the receiving end of terrible misfortune. And it's 1-0 to Welling at Clarence Park. Almost 26 minutes played, unfortunately, 1-0 to Welling. Yeah, calamity there, really. I mean, you want to try and get something on the ball to stop the opposition actually getting the ball. And that's what Ryan Blackman was trying to do. But sadly, it was the delivery was good from Cameron Green. It just diverted into the net past Michael Johnson. And this is I tempted fate there. Commentators Sorry, curse. Sean Jeffers ghosting forwards. He's got a great chance here. No one closing him in. Shot comes in. It's in from Jeffers. Fantastic. What a moment from Sean Jeffers. Make that number 19 in National League South. And almost immediately, heartbreak turns into absolute elation here at Clarence Park. Sean Jeffers nodded it down. It looked like he was crowded out of space, but no, took the one touch. Right foot, hammer blow to Welling United. And the score is level. Class ticket there for that football as Crosley Lima throws it to Sonny Fish again on that right wing, but being crowded out, although he does find Crosley Lima again, finds the number 20. Jason Adigan goes in, great save from Michael Johnson. It's ghosting in another great save from wow, Michael Johnson. Wow, it was all going on there. Goodness me. Ivan up even more on this surface this afternoon. Quite right too, it's another element in the play that could change things as Rizzullo finds Hoddle on the right wing. Looks over his, looks up off the ball, finds Rizzullo ghosting in. The shot tries to come in, he's crowded out. And now surely they'll let it run out of play. No, they won't because they knew that would have been a corner. That would have been dangerous. Blackman with the shot. Oh, yi, oh, yi. Oh. It's a, sort of had the opportunity for a free kick, but um, it's gone against them. Yeah, the refereeing decision's not going all their way as it's somewhat cut out. Oh, dear. Number eight goes for the shot. It's just wide. Yeah, Anthony Oof. Grant there. Um, uh, sorry, Reese Grant there finding acres of space. A little bit of a mix-up at the back between Partington 
and Brown. A lot of players forward here, Welling and Jeffers holding it up brilliantly and finding his way round almost brilliantly as well. But unfortunately, possession turned over and now Welling drive forwards again. Looks like Jason Adigan. Step overs, bit of skill, and it's just glazed wide of the right post. Another dangerous moment there for Welling United. Tell you what, Welling have got, Welling have got opportunities, that discipline, just to maintain your shape and be patient as well. Patience and discipline going hand in hand, really, with all good football scenes. Sonny Fish trying to exploit some of that patience and discipline from Welling United, but closed down by Joe Partington. Adigan's been found in space, though. Great save from Johnson, and just, just poked out of play. But don't worry, it's back to the middle with Welling United. Smith does well to intercept it, but again, back to oh. Welling United. The number eight's on it. Surely a finish for Reese Grant. He's brought down. The referee had a great view of that, but he waves it away. The Welling dugout are apoplectic with rage. They can't believe what they've just seen. We're not complaining in the commentary box, as it will be a St. Auburn City goal kick. Only as far as the left back was Sam Brown finding Hutchinson. Hutchinson architecting some space to Rizzullo. Rizzullo finding Hutchinson on the overlap as he drives down the wing. Caught up a little bit by Crosley Lima, but step overs, finds the space, crosses it in, and it's going to be Jack James Ooh. just over the bar. And a great, great chance for the Saints there. Jason Adigan for Welling United, finding it up forwards to Reese Grant. Reese Grant will drive at it, but Sam Brown's quickly there to try and poke him off the ball. Not going to happen. It goes in towards the number six. Anthony Grant on the volley. And it is only as far as the stands. The car bonnet as now it's up in the air. Blackman tried to win the header. Referee, well, Welling shouting for a foul, and Jeffers is in loads of space. Passes it across. Rizzullo in acres here. He's caught up quickly, though, by Crosley Lima on the left-hand side. And now finds it back to Hutchinson. Could have the opportunity to shoot. Does shoot. Deflection oh. off the post. Agonisingly close. Oh. James over the bar. Had some great whip on it. If he just kept it slightly lower, it would have been the 2-1 lead and always have been craving for. But a great spell of intensity. What a start to the second half of the Saints, that is. I mean, how unlucky can you get? And it could cost them extremely. A massive throw in there. Jeffers, if he wasn't offside, I'm going to be absolutely astounded. He wasn't offside. Rizzullo now, loads of space, finds it short. Oh. Jeffers, and almost after he slid in there. And he seems to architect something out of nothing. Rizzullo has that special something. Puts the ball into the box. Finds a St. Albans City player. As the shot is taken from Sean Jeffers, it's blocked away and cleared away. Subsequently, it will be a throw-in, though, for St. Albans. Pistol intercepting very nicely indeed. Jack James finds it in the centre. Gio Rizzullo, look at the space he's got. Oh. He's brought down in the box. And the referee unbelievably waves it off. It almost looked like a certain shove in the back. And, the, and the, well, the referee again, I mean, it's a throw-in for St. Albans, but it's no consolation, really. It seemed like almost another clear-cut foul opportunity. Driving down the centre circle, finds Dan Bowery as the ball transitions to the right-hand side. Bowery looking, there's Jack James in support if he needs him. He finds Jack James in support, squares it across to Rizzullo, who's on the right-hand side of the box. Again, Dan Bowery, cross comes in. Good Jeffers pass. with a header, Hoddle thought he had it. And Ooh. almost there from Jack James just ghosted in immediately after that cross was put in he was in that space driving inwards from the right hand side question of my day but Sonny Fish now on the ball to Burchell he now puts it into Anthony Grant they're just working it across trying to find the space a shot comes in and it's over the bar sails over there from the number 23 Jean Kennedy sends it almost into Rose Ed. luckily not into Rose Ed. it does stay in play Rizzullo tracks back extremely well here comes Hoddle finds Sean Jeffers in loads of space don't give Jeffers that much space you do not know what he's going to come up with. Rizzullo tries to be found and had that deflected and gone in, that would have been quite something. But unfortunately, that is not the case. George Hoddle now on the ball, looking for the space, making something out of nothing. That seems to be his forte, although in this case, it's slightly diminuendo. Hutchinson there trips up. Taken by Hutchinson, who finds Ben Smith. Immediately, though, losing possession. It's dangerous now as Welling driving forwards. Jason Adigan came through the back. And the referee, unbelievably, waves that one off as well. Is always just as furious as ever. And that's a great ball from Hoddle to Jack James on the right-hand side. And he's being assisted by Dan Bowery. Bowery will surely fire in the cross. He does fire oh. in the cross, but it just flies across the face of goal. Ben Smith trying to find someone. It just finds Anthony Grant, though, for the opposition. And that's another chance that goes begging for St. Albans. Blackman's been told to shoot. Well, the crowd G'd him on, and he gave it his best shot. Unfortunately, it scuffs its way past, well, well past the left-hand side post.
a whip across to Dan Barry on the right hand side there from Joe Partington. Bowery's got loads of time and space to think about his next move. Benjamin Mensah looks like he could set Bowery up. He has set Bowery up. Bowery tries to find the space. Looked like there was a chance there, but somehow, yet again, Welling United have another decision go their way. And I've got no idea how on earth the referee has seen that as a Welling particular decision. It's not, it's defended extremely well there. And Michael Johnson getting it up, but it won't be enough. The referee says that's it. Well, a close heated contest here. A game of two halves, a game of extreme intensity all the way through. Neither team being able to get that final soccer punch in at the end.